Hey guys, welcome to the BMW Blog YouTube channel. And as I said earlier, welcome back to Munich. It's been quite a busy week. You might have seen our review of the BMW X1 family, but now to really learn more about the car's design, I have with me Daniel Meyerle. Hello. He's part of the design team on the X1, and he's gonna walk us through these three cars here, talk about the design changes compared to the outgoing model, and of course, we're gonna talk about the interior as well. So stay tuned for that. Daniel, thanks for having me. Great looking cars here. I'm gonna give my straight up feedback immediately. It looks a lot like a smaller X3, which is a good thing, but I'm gonna let you walk me through the design ideas behind the X1 and of course the iX1 next. The exterior design of the new BMW X1, it's all about presence and robustness. Mm -hmm. So we designed this double kidney grille very upright mm -hmm. and also the sheer size of it has a certain visual impact. Okay. Um, together with the um, headlights that are positioned pretty high, um, we create this front this, that is high and upright sure. and this all contributes to this presence. Let's talk about the lines that emerge from the double kidney grille. Mm -hmm. They are very precise modeled. The surfaces in between are clean okay. and that's what we call monolithic design. So the robustness comes with the cladding in the apron, mm -hmm. but it also comes with the um, strongly embossed hood. And this is the M Sport package, right? Just to That's tell people the up front. That's the M Sport package. So mm -hmm. here we see that the inlay, the black inlay with the dog bone um, design, that's framed with body color. I also noticed this really aggressive and very sporty looking hood. What can you tell me about that one? Yeah, so the designer um, was inspired by the hoods of classical off-roaders. Mm -hmm. So we have here a clamshell look of a hood that goes around the sure. corner. Clearly the headlights are another highlight of the car. And in some way it resembles maybe the current generation 5 series. Uh, what can you tell me about them? Well, the headlights, they have a nice fluent transition into the body side. And um, yeah, they are slender. So this also contributes to this focused and robust look. Okay. So I think we can move to the side, maybe talk about the design from that side. And when we come back here, then you can maybe point out the other differences in between the cars. Yeah. There are quite a few. We have an X line here. And of course we have the iX1, which is the highlight of mm -hmm. the family X1. So let's move to the side. Let's talk about that. Then we go to the back and we jump inside after that. So let's start with the roof line. As this line is very long, it stretches the car in the length and it also indicates the functionality. Like we have lots of cabin space inside. Then uh, let's go to the first feature line that sits on the shoulder line. Mm -hmm. It's um, very crisp modeled and it also stretches the car. Okay. And then there's a second feature line which starts at the front wheel arch and um, is slightly uh, inclining to the rear. And these feature lines, they create a nice um, play of light and shadow. Surfaces are still very clean mm -hmm. uh, modeled. Sure. And that's why we call it monolithic design. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, we have here the flush integrated door handles. So it's really like a monolith that you see. And before we go to the back, I've also noticed that the uh, roof line extends a little bit more than on the current generation X1. What's the reason for that? Well, it's mainly uh, aerodynamic reasons. It improves the drag coefficient mm -hmm. and uh, it also gives the car a more SUV-like look, like more boxy in the back. And looking from this angle, you can probably see that as well, it is quite wide actually, so the shoulders seem to be sticking yeah. out quite a bit. Yeah, you know, robustness was a really big thing for us here at the car and so we flared the uh, wheel arches prominently mm -hmm. and we also added the um, claddings that's typical for BMW and um, the wheel arches if you like look at these um, they are almost square in shape mm -hmm. that's something typical for BMW X models. We also have this underguard uh, inspired rocker design mm -hmm. and that gives the car optically a higher uh, ground clearance. So that was the side view. Maybe now we should move towards the back so we can see the design from there. A lot of changes there. So oh, let's yes. take a look at that. All right, Daniel. So before we move to the rear end, let's talk about the taillights. Tell me what's new here and explain this unique design here. Yeah, so the taillights are literally outstanding, okay. as you can see. So we put these um, taillights right into the very corner of the car mm -hmm. and they are L-shaped, which is classical to all BMW mm -hmm. models. Sure. What's new here is that we have a rebound in the upper area that's bouncing back to the uh, cabin. And with this um, upper leg here, we emphasize the strong shoulders of the car. Okay. We also applied a new pattern here to create this modern look of the 
uh, taillight. Mm -hmm. The taillight does also serve aerodynamic reasons. So mm -hmm. we have here an aero lid and also here an aero edge that helps uh, aerodynamically. Also the tapering greenhouse here that creates this huge um, shoulder uh, supports uh, good drag coefficient. Okay, and I also noticed a nice scoop in here. What can you tell me about that? We wanted to create a sculpture for mm -hmm. the taillight, so it's not just a flush graphics anymore. It's mm -hmm. really sticking out like blades that were put into the car body. All right, so now maybe let's take a look at the rear end, full rear end display, and maybe let's talk about the width of the car. Of course, the diffuser is quite unique, yeah. but also the overall stance, in my opinion, it's a lot sportier than you get on the current generation X1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks to the um, rear spoiler that's um, dragging pretty low here, mm -hmm. uh, we gave the rear window a narrow but wide look, okay. a low but wide look, mm -hmm. and that emphasizes the width and the, the planted stance of the car, sure. as well as the aforementioned taillights that were sitting right in the corner. Furthermore, we are here at the M Sport package, mm -hmm. so um, we have this stock bone shaped um, inlay in okay. the lower apron, and um, what's important to us is that we frame this inlay with body color here mm -hmm. in the lower area. It's uh, important to know there are no visible exhausts anymore. Okay. We always got a diffuser optics like here. Oh, and of course, I'm, I'm assuming the cargo space has increased a little bit? Of course, so we have in the ICE version of 545 liters of cargo okay. space and in the BEF version, it's 495. And since your specialty is in the interior design, I think we should hop inside, yes. take a look at the front seating position and all the tech. All right, Daniel, so we're finally inside the new BMW X1. Tell me what's new here. So robustness was also a big motive for us in the interior design. Um, you can see the robustness expressed with this um, galvanic trim stripes that mm -hmm. really um, push the, the doors from the um, driver's area. Uh, aside mm -hmm. and we also have this um, chrome treatment in the doors you're leaning just um, right at it it's the grab handle that also shows the um, ruggedness of the interior okay but um, let's talk about digitalization because that's the real big thing mm -hmm. uh, inside here we've got this um, BMW curved screen uh, and operating system 8 is running on it. So that was launched with the iX. Mm -hmm. It comes with all the goodies. So we have lots of automated functions in it. We could um, uh, reduce the amount of hard keys in the instrument panel drastically. Mm -hmm. So I'm counting right now uh, three more um, hard keys left in the instrument panel. And that's why it's rather a car furniture than a classical cockpit anymore. Okay, got it. And what about the center console? I feel like it's changed quite a bit as well. Yeah, so roominess was the second big issue for us in the interior design. And here, um, the center armrest is a good example of use of space. Mm -hmm. So here, we use the space on two levels. Okay. On the upper level, we have the controls. And on the lower level, we have lots of uh, space for storage, like for purses. And of course, we, we also got the cup holder in that area. And what's um, new to the X1 it's the charging wireless charging adapter right mm -hmm. here in the front. Sure. And uh, this one is framed with a ambient light that goes with the whole light setting here in the topper area. Gotcha. And of course, following the design lines of the two active tour, basically also the yeah. iDrive knob is missing and the gear shifter yeah. is quite minimal as well. So we have um, voice control, we have direct touch control, mm -hmm. And furthermore, um, we got the mirror head-up display, so we get a full set of uh, controls here. Okay, so from what I can tell, we're inside the car with the M Sport package, so clearly you're yeah. getting M Sport steering, also the Alcantara Sport seats. Um, quite sporty, quite beefy, so that's always a nice feature to see inside yeah, yeah, yeah. a BMW. Especially the drilled spoke in the lower area, that's um, really the, the feature of M Sport package inside. But we also get the uh, pedals with the um, metal inlays and um, we got as you mentioned before the blue stitching on the instrument panel and on the door upper panels and uh, trims as well yeah all right so clearly a lot of new features inside the new bmw x1 but one that's worth mentioning it's clearly the new head-up display yes so it's um, fully integrated it's a mirror head-up display and it also comes with augmented reality functions. Maybe let's hop outside, let's take a look maybe quickly at the new BMW iX1 and then we can wrap it right. up. All right, Daniel, so we've seen the interior design, the exterior design of the new BMW X1 family and now we're back outside and we're taking a look at the BMW iX1. 
So tell me how is the design on the iX1 different from the combustion powered cars? So this is our BEV version of the X1 and we um, point that out with blue accents. Okay. So you see it already in the uh, front apron but also on the rockers and on the rear apron we got this um, blue framings and also of course around the double kidney grille. Okay. Um, additionally all the badges like here in the front on the back and on the wheels are framed in blue as we have it inside in the interior around the uh, steering wheel badge. Okay. And in, inside there's furthermore the start-stop um, controls. This is illuminated blue. Okay. And for the exterior, you, there's a, a delete option for the blue accents in the aprons. Okay, understood. So those are the differences in between the different models. All right. So now let me ask you this before I let you go. Um, if it was your X1, which color would you pick from all these three? So you got an orange, you have a frozen pure gray, and of course the mineral white. Well, um, I'm a big fan of the frozen pure gray. So I think it looks super sporty and super modern. All right, perfect. All right, thanks again for this overview, design overview. I definitely look forward to jumping behind the wheel, driving the car. But until then, you know, good job on the design. It looks very aggressive, very sporty. All right, guys, thanks for watching once again. This was the BMW X1 family. It goes on sale later this year and we will have a chance to drive the car later this fall. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.